According to a recent report by South Korea's National Intelligence Service, NIS, North Korea has accumulated enough plutonium and highly enriched uranium to construct a double-digit number of nuclear bombs. The report, revealed during a closed-door parliamentary briefing and covered by Reuters, has raised serious concerns over Pyongyang's nuclear capabilities. These developments come in the wake of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's recent declarations to expand his nuclear arsenal, as well as the rare disclosure of a secret uranium enrichment facility earlier this month. The NIS estimates that North Korea currently possesses around 70 kilograms of plutonium, a key material for nuclear weapons. While the agency did not disclose the exact amount of weapons-grade uranium North Korea has, the combination of these materials is believed to be sufficient to produce at least 10 nuclear bombs. This increase in materials aligns with Pyongyang's broader objective of exponentially increasing its stockpile of nuclear weapons, as emphasized by Kim Jong-un in his recent speeches. North Korea's nuclear and ballistic missile programs continue to make significant strides, with improvements in accuracy, power, and range. The NIS also pointed out that North Korea is advancing its missile technology, with a particular focus on developing systems capable of targeting South Korea more precisely. The possibility of a seventh nuclear test has not been ruled out, with speculation suggesting such a test could occur after the U.S. presidential election in November. Kim Jong-un's visit to the Nuclear Weapons Institute in September further underscored the regime's intent to expand its nuclear arsenal. During the visit, Kim inspected facilities producing military-grade nuclear materials, emphasizing the country's commitment to enhancing its strategic deterrence capabilities. These actions continue despite decades of international sanctions and diplomatic efforts aimed at denuclearizing the Korean Peninsula. North Korea's focus on building nuclear weapons is a response to the growing obsolescence of its conventional military capabilities. For years, the regime has prioritized asymmetric capabilities, such as long-range ballistic missiles and weapons of mass destruction, including nuclear weapons. The country's missile inventory includes short- and medium-range missiles, such as Scud and Nodong models, as well as newer systems like the KN-23 and KN-25. One of North Korea's most notable advancements is its Intercontinental Ballistic Missile ICBM, program with systems such as the Wasong-14, which has an estimated range of 10,400 kilometers, and the Wasong-15, which is still in development with a projected range between 8,500 and 13,000 kilometers. These missiles pose a serious strategic threat to distant territories, including the United States. North Korea has also made progress in miniaturizing its nuclear warheads, which can now be integrated into its ballistic missiles. The regime's continued development of these technologies remains central to its strategy of deterring external intervention and ensuring the regime's survival. The NIS's intelligence assessments suggest that North Korea is poised to increase its nuclear arsenal further in the coming years. With Pyongyang's progress in both nuclear and missile technologies, regional security is likely to face increasing challenges. South Korea, the U.S., and other global actors are closely monitoring these developments, concerned about the rising threat posed by North Korea's expanding nuclear capabilities. The possibility of further nuclear tests, alongside the ongoing missile development, remains a significant issue for regional stability and global security. As Pyongyang continues to advance its nuclear ambitions, international pressure and diplomatic efforts will be critical in addressing this growing threat.